from the News Channel 5 Network. This is Out and About Today. Sponsored by the Tennessee Performing Arts Center. Hello, I'm Chuck Long and welcome to a special edition of Out and About Today. It's our 17th season kickoff. We're so glad. 17 years. That's right. All right, let's get right to it. After no uh, Broadway season last year, there's more excitement than ever for TPAC's 2021-22 season. The show lineup is stellar and here to tell us all about it, TPAC's president and CEO, Jennifer Turner. Welcome, Jennifer. Great to see you. Thank you. It's great to be with you today. Oh, I tell you, more excited than ever since Broadway is back. And speaking of it, your Broadway season being back, it, with the band's visit, when it premieres October 19th, that will be, I was looking through, 19 months since your last show. So that's incredible. I know. Almost 600 days since we had a Broadway performance at TPAC. Um, it is, I think, we can't understate how excited we are to get back. I, and I know the audience is excited too. And, and I did want to touch on too, and, and I think they're going to be glad to know this, that uh, your health and safety partner, HCA Healthcare and TriStar Health, they're working together on the return so that everything is great and safe when people come back to the theater. Absolutely. We were thrilled to partner with HCA Healthcare, TriStar Health, and it is a true partnership. They have given us access to all of their experts. They have toured through the building. We have um, regular meetings with their team. So they have advised us on everything from, you know, employee safety and protocol backstage to our building system. So we feel very confident with HCA Healthcare, TriStar Health as our health and safety partner for this year. That's terrific. And I know we're seeing clips from uh, the band's visit. So again, what an incredible show. It's, it won Best Musical. I think it won the big six, you know, best score, book, uh, musical, actor, actress, direction. So an incredible show to kick off the season. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, you're right, 10 Tony Awards. It's one of the most acclaimed musicals. We're, we're super excited. You know, the, the band's visit is a really special show for us because it talks about two communities coming together through music and the arts. And that really is what, you know, we're all about is bringing people together. And, you know, the pandemic has made it so tough for us. So, you know, the arts has the ability to cross, you know, so many barriers, cultural barriers, physical barriers, you know. so. We, we think that this is really symbolic starting off with the band's visit. You know, it's something that I think will just bring people together and people will love the music and um, really enjoy this very special show. Absolutely. And then you've got a classic uh, coming back. So, I mean, it's hard to even overstate anything about The Lion King. So Disney's The Lion King. That is coming in January. So let's talk about that. Well, The Lion King, just such a favorite, you know, families, adult, yeah, everyone loves The Lion King. And, you know, we're lucky to have it for multiple weeks. So it's going to be here, sitting down here for a while. I know the cast is very excited to come back to Nashville. You know, when these multi-week engagements come, the cast and crew get to actually live here for a few weeks. So they come to our restaurants and they, you know, partake in all that Nashville has to offer. And I know they're very excited to return, just as excited as we are to have this wonderful show back in our theater. And again, you just, you know, seeing the clips, you, you just remember, I mean, it's so creative. It's so groundbreaking. You know, your score, Elton John, Tim Rice. I mean, this, this one is going to just have people, I think, just thronging and probably selling out throughout the, uh, the run. It's beautiful. And just a little behind the scenes on this one, you know, there's a wonderful entrance if you haven't experienced it before. And we actually have to reconfigure our seating area to accommodate this beautiful entrance and view onto the playing stage. So do check it out if you haven't had the opportunity. Absolutely. And then one that's a little more recent, and I can hardly wait for this one, of course, all of them, but Mean Girls from Tina Fey's team. So, uh, you know, this one, I, I, I just, I can't wait to see it. And just to let everybody know, this one's going to start February 8th, 2022. You know, such a, such a great movie. And, you know, you, you, sometimes you see that translation and Tina Fey is just, She's so brilliant and, you know, we love what she's done to make this into a Broadway musical. You know, it's really funny and the music is great and I think you're going to, I think you're going to really enjoy it. You know, there's a lot of parallels, you know, follows the movie. So you're going to, 
you know, know a lot of the jokes and the phrases and, and you're just going to have fun with this one. And, you know, one of the things, and I've heard a number of people who have seen the movie and they've seen the musical and they said, you know, whether or not if you're a fan of the, the movie, you're going to love the musical. If you've never seen the movie, you're still going to love the musical. But I think it's a real trick to be able to do that, to take something that's a known commodity out there, put it on stage, give it legs and give it life like they've done. Absolutely. I mean, one of the things that we keep hearing about Mean Girls, and I think why it resonated and it's so fresh and popular, is that, you know, although people who love the movie will enjoy this, if you haven't even seen the movie, I think you're going to really enjoy just this very fun, fresh musical. Absolutely. So that's Mean Girls. Mark it on your calendars. February 8th is when it starts. All right, we are going to take a short break, but when we come back, we've got so much more to see, more Broadway season preview. You're watching Out and About Today.